Okay, so this is definitely going to be the unit that I've been waiting for for well over a year. I talked to someone at Pulse Buff about a ultra high power unit for uh, sync capability with um, well a lot of cameras so that you could actually do uh, high speed sync at significant power and it finally dropped. Now I know everybody's going to mention the Godox unit but I'm going to tell you why you're freaking flat out dead wrong on that here in just a second. Anyway, this is $895. This is the new Pulse Buff uh, Link Flash unit. It does come with a charger and the battery and the hub remote, i.e. the uh, TTL uh, capable unit. Yes, this is TTL and HSS and it actually has a power of... Um, a lot of people are looking for enormous amounts of power, but what they actually forget is that uh, like for a lot of macro photography and stuff uh, product photography and other things being able to dial it way the hell down is really awesome you've got five watt seconds which is really good on the einstein unit but this is uh, 3.1 watt seconds to 800 watt seconds uh, we actually have a t1 time uh, actually i talked to a tech rep and it doesn't list it here a t1 time at full power of roughly 1 250th of a second so there is a a specific uh, flash profile. There's actually three modes. There's action mode and color mode. Color mode just means super ultra color consistency. Um, action mode, of course, is kind of self-explanatory. We've actually got uh, T1 times down to speed light time, so one fifteen thousandth of a second. But for HSS, we have a, and it's not listed here, however, the tech rep just told me a few minutes ago, that it's about one two hundred fifty of a second, or one two hundred fiftieth of a second, or a little bit less. And in HSS mode, you've actually got uh, from a full power down to quarter power, which is somewhere around, what, 200 watt seconds, roughly. So 200 to 800 watts, that is huge. And don't worry about it, because before you let the words Godox pass your lips here in just a second, I'm going to tell you why you're flat out frigging wrong. So this unit comes with a charger and the battery. It's also capable uh, for use with... Um, the battery or an AC power outlet, which the Godox unit does not have, but we're not talking about the Godox unit uh, just yet. But this this is it. This would be the single do-it-all, very powerful uh, studio strobe. This is with the uh, lithium pack attached. This is uh, the back of the uh, strobe unit. And we actually have like a 270 degree xenon flash tube on the front. We also have an LED. I also talked to the, uh, the guy at uh, Pulse Buff and he said, Somewhere down around, uh, I think, a third power, roughly said, or less. There's almost no noise out of this. It actually puts out an enormous amount of light. This is the LED panel right here in the center. Of course, this is the xenon tube for the actual flash photography. And this is uh, designed by Pulse Buff uh, down in uh, Tennessee. And yes, uh, I know they're outsourcing the production this unit, but this is the Godox unit everybody's going to want to compare it to. Let's actually talk about why you're completely uh, flat wrong about this by bringing over some information between this awesome Pulse Buff unit and the Godox 8600 Pro. And I love Godox a lot, but I mean, let's actually talk about some freaking facts here. The Godox 8600 Pro, which I show here on the right, is $900, and you've only got the option to go with battery power. Um, if you want to use AC power, you have to purchase an adapter for 100 bucks. So that's uh, $1,000 now on the Godox 8600 Pro. If you want to do high-speed sync with the Godox, you also have to purchase uh, the remote, which is another $70. The uh, Pulse Buff Link unit comes with it. Uh, replacement flash tubes are also uh, about $100 more than the Link Xenon flash tubes. Okay, you should always have a spare one of those. Also, too, the Link has more features including a broader, and by the way, it's built a lot, about a thousand percent, so for a lot less money, and it is a less a lot less money, because if you want all the features of the Link, you're going to have to spend several hundred dollars more on the Godox 8600 Pro, so for a lot less money, you're getting a unit that is far, 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 far superior to the Godox unit. Also, too, the Godox unit can't even come anywhere near close. When you do HSS flash photography with the Godox 8600, you ain't got that much power. You can do full 800 watt seconds on the link unit. That is incredible. 
that's that's absolutely amazing. So don't even think about trying to compare. People say, oh, well, Godox owns it now. They're so much cheaper. Yeah, you're, you're, you're looking at a, a cheap piece of equipment with the Godox 8600s. For, this, for a lot less money, you can get a far, far, far more capable unit with uh, the new uh, Link uh, studio strobe that I've been literally, I've known about, I've, the Godox, I see me at Godox, but uh, Paul C. Buff didn't tell me about this. I said, look, you got a high power unit that's kind of, they basically hinted to me nearly a year ago or further, I won't say who at Paul C. Buff, that this unit was coming out. They didn't tell me the name of it or anything, but I knew it was coming. And here it is. So it's infinitely more capable than the Godox 8600. Made a lot, lot better, infinitely more power than the Godox unit for HSS. It actually has true action and true color mode. Godox unit does not have that. It actually comes standard with the ability for using the lithium pack. It comes with the lithium pack. It comes with the charger. It comes with the power cord. It comes with the remote. Uh, currently only for Canon and Nikon. Um, I, I, I was just told by someone else at Policy Buff that they're working on other units. Hint, hint, Fujifilm. I can't confirm that, but I mean, yeah, there is no chance in hell you are going to even think about comparing this piece of precision equipment to this. As much as I have a lot of Godox units, don't even think about comparing this to this. It's just, I mean... Just, it's not going to happen. Don't even try to say, well, I can get a Godox chip. No, not only is it not cheaper, the Godox unit not cheaper, it is far, far inferior. Build quality, capabilities, specifications, HSS power mode. It's power capabilities uh, out of the box for both the uh, power pack use. Does not come with the remote out of the box. No, it does not. So even if you spent $300 more to bring up some of the capabilities of this unit, more $300 more than the link unit cost from Pulse Buff, still no freaking comparison. So I know that's what people are going to do. Say, why are you talking about that? I didn't get a Godox. So, yeah, okay. So you're going to get this that's far less capable. Yeah, let's just cut the nonsense. No, you're not. This is a way, way better unit for less money. And it comes with all the stuff out of the box. The, the remote, the power pack, the full AC versus a power pack capability. A lot more power for HSS. A lot more power. Also true, also too, true color consistency mode and true action mode, which the Godox unit no way in hell has. Far, far cheaper flash tubes. Better all around, period. In absolutely every way, shape, and form, and a lot cheaper. So, anyway, thanks so much for watching. I can't wait to get this unit. This will be the one, not this thing. This will be the one studio strobe. The, like, the one strobe to do it all. The one to do it all. This will be it. I can't wait to uh, get a hold of one. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. And uh, cheers out to uh, Paul C. Buff for producing something like this.